This 13 year old boy wants to transition from male to female at just 13 years old. What is going on here? Let's take a look at the video now. Going in there as a bisexual and transgender female. Bisexual and transgender female. Well, I don't think it's anything bad. I think they'll fully accept me, but if they don't, that's up to them. But I don't think it's against their religion to be friends with someone like that. So, oi! So, do you do, do you go to the gay pride and stuff? So, oi! I haven't been to a gay pride yet, but our school is very LGBT active. Yeah. So, so you're gay? No. Oh, you're not gay? Okay. I'm both bisexual and transgender. M to F. Male to female, and just look how young he looks. So you are good? Really? Are you growing your hair? Trying, it's bullshit. So you know when you're fully a girl, would you go out with the boy? 13 year old Kieran is keen to find out more about Lucas. Yeah, I'm bisexual, so I'd go out with a boy or a girl. You can tell she just wants to ask all these questions because she's genuinely trying to find out what's going on. Would you be like girls' dresses now? If I see you on Saturday, would you be wearing a girl's dress or would you be just dressed as a boy? I'd just be dressed in my clothes, to be honest. <laughs> We're great friends already. Conversation, conversation, conversation. 13 year old Lucas, just 13 years old and transgender male to female, who's transgender, has been paired up with Kieran. Oh, I'm going to ask you a question actually. Well, how do you know you're ready to be to turn into um, a male to female? Good question. You know, not many people really understand, but when you know, you know. What if you regret it? I definitely won't. So he says he definitely won't regret it. So let's take away all the society discussion. That's not my place. Just pure biology. Let's look at what's going on here. So gonadotropin releasing hormone is the key hormone that is released when puberty starts. And it is produced by specialized neurons in the hypothalamus, which then sends it to the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland releases luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Those two hormones, LH and FSH, travel down to the testicles where they act specifically on receptors on the Leydig and Sertoli cells respectively, the Leydig cells producing testosterone for the first time in puberty and the Sertoli cells producing sperm for the first time in puberty. The problem is in this case, he's only 13 years old. So biologically, he hasn't been through puberty and had that necessary infrastructure established in order to start producing testosterone. And that is the crux of the issue biologically here. You see the very increase in gonadotropin releasing hormone is what starts puberty off. But if you don't have that and you suddenly suppress your levels with estrogen replacement therapy and testosterone suppression therapy as male to female transgender patients go through, you're not getting the necessary cell differentiation and infrastructure created in your testicles and brain in order to then reverse your decision if in the future you wanted to. The thing is at 13, I don't think you're in the right frame of mind to make such big decisions like I want to be female for the rest of my life because at 13, I wanted to be a bloody astronaut. So if he gets to 20, 25, 30 and wants to reverse his decision, but he's already Already gone through the therapy before puberty, he doesn't have the necessary infrastructure in his brain to then start producing testosterone as male to female transgender patients do have if they've already been through puberty, started producing testosterone, have the necessary infrastructure there, and then can reverse their decision if I don't know circumstances or their mindset or mentality shifts. I mean, he's only 13 years old, and I just don't think biologically any reasonable doctor would put him on estrogen therapy and testosterone suppression therapy before puberty hits because so much changes and so much mentality and mind shift changes throughout those years to the point where he may get to 20 and be like, oh, well, that was, I actually want to be male now. So very interesting video and very interesting how society and what we think in society doesn't always match up to the reality of the biological situation. And I would argue no reasonable doctor should put a 13 year old on hormone replacement therapy, especially estrogen replacement therapy to suppress testosterone at just 13 years old. The brain, and the HPG axis is very, very fragile, and 13 is not the time to be messing with it. Especially, I would argue, him having not been through puberty makes the whole process even more fraught with danger. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Fitness Science, signing out.